welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to show you a full face makeup tutorial using um, a new foundation that I purchased yesterday. It's not one of the newest foundations, but it is something that I've been wanting to try. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Foundation in the color Warm Beige. So if you are interested, I want you to keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Um, and please just share any comments or any tips that you might want to share with me and that I'm missing or something that you want to see, just comment down below in the description box and I will be more than happy to fulfill that request. Okay, so let's get started, girls. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to start prepping my skin and I'm going to hydrate my skin with the Yes2 Coconut uh, Hydrate and Restore. I use this product because um, even though I'm oily, um, I do get dry in certain in certain areas like around my cheeks here. So this actually helps with my skin not to get oily, but it also hydrates me. So this is what I use. And then for priming, I'm going to use a Revlon uh, Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. This is what I use. Um, it pretty much helps with um, keeping my uh, makeup uh, matte and also from uh, getting too oily. So anyway, so I'm going to do that. I will be doing my eyebrows and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and I love the uh, brow gal if you can see this here um, it is like a really slim and very um, easy to use so this is what I use to do my eyebrows so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now I'm going to be defining my brows with this um, Coastal Sense uh, concealer. I can open it, um, and I'll be using this color here with a the Morphe PK45. I'll be defining it and just kind of creating a canvas for my eyes um, to prepare for the eyeshadow. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Morphe M331 big old fluffy brush as you can see here and I'm going to apply some translucent powder on my lids to kind of create that nice um, sheen. So I've been debating, trying to figure out what colors I want to use. Um, so I got this uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 in my Boxy, Jar Boxy Charm, not Boxy Charm, uh, a couple months ago. And I love the blue that's in there. So since I'm wearing blue, I think I'm going to go with the blues today. So um, I'm going to be pulling other colors from the Juvia's Place Masquerade and possibly the Nubian 2. These are like my favorite, favorite all-time palettes. 
Um, there's so much color and the pigmentation is amazing. You just, you know, if you haven't uh, tried these, I would suggest, um, you know, looking into it and seeing if you enjoy these colors. Look at this. These are just amazing. Look at that blue. So that's the blue I want to use. And then this is the other blues that I also want to use. These two shades here. So we'll see how this comes out. Um, okay, so I am going to find a transition shade and I actually learned marina color out of this right here. with my thumbnail oh my goodness don't you hate that I do that all the time I don't even know why I grow nails it just it's like it's just annoying because I keep like scratching the eyeshadows out of my palette here okay so the next thing I am going to go is in Madagascar and I'm going to be using the Morphe R39 brush Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's right here and it is in the color Milk and I'd like to put that on my lid so that when I apply the blue, the blue is going to be more vibrant, more colorful. Cleopatra. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with Cleopatra, and I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay Naked um, brush that came in one of the palettes that I had bought purchased a while back. So that's what I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna just do the outer corner of my eye. Um, it is um, a darker, deeper blue. I'm going to use this lighter shade blue right here and I'm going to be using um, this flat brush. It's a no-name flat brush that I picked up many, many years ago. It was like one of my first brushes and I love this brush. Okay, I'm going to use the Morphe M578. Um, it's like a pencil brush. So I'm just going to grab um, the color Giza. 
It's this light shimmer color. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye here. Again, to give it a gradient look. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe R39 brush and I'm going to um, pick up a darker shade color. So I think I'm gonna pick up Seaside, which is this color here, and I'm gonna put that in my crease. blend that out with my uh, R uh, E27 brush and just kind of remove any of that excess um, eyeshadow that I don't want and just blend it out. So I'm going to do my eyeliner next. Um, I like doing my eyeliner before putting on the foundation and putting on my concealer underneath my eyes. I found this um, eye, liquid eyeliner. It's a super fine brush waterproof eyeliner. Uh, it's called Clean Color. I'm going to try it. It wasn't, uh, wasn't expensive. I just walked into this one store here locally and uh, I, I was like, I saw all this makeup. I was like, whoa. Um, so I just picked up this uh, eyeliner because it's a very fine um, brush. So this is what I'm going to use and see how this works. So it's actually a first time using this product. Uh, we'll see how this applies. This uh, eyeliner, uh, I like how it's really thin with the brush, um, but I'm not sure about the formula because, you know, when you put eyeliner, um, at least for me, I don't feel tightness with other eyeliners, especially waterproof eyeliners. Maybe with the Wet n Wild one, but this particular eyeliner, it feels very tight. Wherever I applied the eyeliner, it feels really, really tight. So I'm hoping it's not one of those eyeliners that will start flaking after a while, so after a few hours. So we'll see how this works out. So this is what the eyeliner looks. Let's see if you could see really closely. I mean, again, I like the fact that it has this really super fine uh, brush, but I'm just uh, I'm not sure about the formula. Anyway, let's press on. Okay, now going in with my LA Girl. LA Girl. Uh, Pro Coverage High uh, Definition Foundation and my Morphe E6. Um, I'm going to apply this all over my face. Now remember I already primed right before so I'm gonna pump this here. I'm only gonna do two pumps. I'm afraid that um, if I do more than that I'll just waste a lot of foundation here. So I'm just gonna grab some of that. I'm gonna dab it Hopefully this is my color. I don't know 
know if you could notice the difference here. Here's my neck. It actually has really nice coverage. Hmm. Maybe I'll zoom in. pretty good. It's really matte. It dries very matte, which I like because I am oily. I am oily in the T-zone, and but I do get dry on my cheeks, on the side of my jaws and cheeks here. Okay, let's do the rest of the face. in this foundation so far let's see how it wears throughout the day um, time will tell let's see how oily how much okay this is what it looks like well and I think you know what I think two pumps is way too much I think I'll do a pump maybe pump and a half so if you could see, I just adjusted the light. You could see my skin. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a dark spot corrector. It's the City Color Photo Chic. I'm gonna apply some of that with my finger underneath my eyes. I do get dark circles. Uh, it's just how I was born. So I just picked up my finger, just going to apply it underneath. So I'm going to take the Sedona Lace in 03, upside down, here's Sed Sedona Lace uh, concealer. I'm going to grab some of that here with my finger. I like applying the uh, concealer when I put it underneath my eye or on my lid. Just I I I'm not sure why. M maybe because I feel like it goes on smoother than just putting it on a brush or a blending, a beauty blender. So that's what I like to do. I think I accidentally put just a little bit of that eyeliner. By the way, just noticed this eyeliner that I just used is cracking. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to zoom in. You could see that there it is cracking I am not too happy with this I'm gonna have to go over it with something else so like putting there and I also like on my chin and on my cupid's bow some of that concealer on there okay so I'm gonna put some powder underneath my eye and let it bake a little I don't like to bake too too much just because I am older um, I am in my early 40s <clears throat> sorry that spilled out 
it's okay. I don't mind. Um, so my wrinkles kind of show up a little bit more, so I don't want it to be like, bam, hello wrinkles. Hi, everyone. So um, that's what I'm going to do. to um, the reason why I put the uh, concealer underneath my eye uh, before putting any liner on the bottom it's because I like to again like I create a canvas for my eyes on uh, my lid for the eyeshadow um, I like to create also a canvas underneath because you know I'm at work for eight to ten hours a day and um, I sometimes notice that if I don't put any concealer underneath then my liner runs or my shatter, sh eyeshadow that I, you know sometimes I put on the lash line it tends to fade so I just want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't budge okay so I have this blue liner and it's actually I bought this a long time ago it's uh, from Avon it's a super shock uh, gel eyeliner going to go with the superhero uh, by it cosmetics I got this through a glossy box and I still haven't used it so I'm going to try this out going to be using my wet n wild um, contour stick right here I'm just gonna apply a little I don't like to do too much contouring Okay, so then I am going to now use, um, I got this in, I believe in a boxy charm uh, box. I can't remember if it was this month, last month, can't remember. Anyway, it's the Luminous Loose uh, Blush and it is made by Studio Makeup and it's a loose powder. anything too dark but I am gonna go with the Giordana easy liner lip uh, for lips in the color cocoa 
I'm gonna lift that, I'm gonna line that lip, not lip that line. And Okay, for the lip color, I'm gonna go with the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color. Where is the color? What's the name of this color? Wow, there's so much. Oh, in Ripe Berry. This is what I'm gonna be using. This is the finished look. What do you think, guys? I really like how the eyes came out, the color. I used so many different blues. Um, I really liked it. Um, let me know what you think. If it's too much, if it's you know not enough, let me know. I think this color came out really nice. What do you think? Okay, so this is the after. I think I showed you the before. Um, so um, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and giving me the time to view my tutorials so I greatly appreciate it so um, check out my other videos if you want and uh, like those if you like them <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll see you on the next video and thank you so so much ciao